Hey y'all, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas and today I'm going to show you how to put together this cracker and cracker box. Let's start with the cracker. First download all the files and cut out each item. Choose whatever side you wish for the outside of the box and turn that side face down. Next, valley fold along each of the score lines with the exception of the score line that runs through the middle of each diamond. That one should be a mountain fold. And crease well. Almost done. When you're done creasing, We'll place the good side face down. We'll place glue all along the bottom panel. I'm just smearing the glue all along, bringing it to the edge of the panel and cleaning up any excess. Now I'll just fold the opposite panel over and put the glue panel on top. Then squeeze the ends together, and that's it. It'll have a, about a one and a half inch hole at the end, so whatever you place in the cracker will have to cover the hole or be large enough so it doesn't go through the hole. So let's have some fun and decorate. First tie off one side of the cracker. And add the goodies. and tie off the other end of the cracker. Now the cutting files for the cuttable come with mats to decorate the cracker. But in this case, I think I'm going to trim the ends so it'll be even more festive. That's fun. I'll just add a panel to the center. And maybe this die cut. That's fun. And I think it needs a poinsettia. I'll just add that to the front. Now we're done. So cute. What do you think? Now let's do the box. When you cut the box out, Cut the box so that the inside of the box is facing up and the numbers are readable. Now just valley fold along the dashed lines, except for the dashed line in the center of the diamond, just like we do with the cracker. That should be a mountain fold. Keep folding and creasing. Now fold the tab that's on the right hand side over and add glue. Spread the glue out to the edges and then fold the box in half right onto the glue tab. Now the tabs with the numbers on them, those are going to be at the bottom. Fold one of the tabs with no number down first into the box. Then fold in the tab with the number two and then the number three, and then the final tab 
you add glue and fold that in. If you wanted even more stability, you could add glue to the inside flaps as well. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to glue the bottom one. Now gently fold in the section with the diamonds. And there you have your little twisty box. Now add the candy through the top. Isn't this cute? Now we're going to now we're going to add a little bit of silver cord just to make it festive. And then I'm going to add mats to the front, the top front, and the top of the box. And remember, you don't have to put can't just candy in here. You can put anything you want. You can put jewelry in here. You can put gift certificates. Whatever you like. And I like the fact that the top has a little box in it, too. You can easily add things in and it things won't fall out. Oops, put the glue on the wrong side. There you have it. Now let's start thinking about what we want to put in front. Maybe a little tag. But I think I want to show off that neat little neck. So I'm going to use this ornament. I'm going to untie that little bow and Add that, add the little ornament to the cord. Tie it off. And we'll just decorate the ornament. I think I want to do it kind of similar to the cracker. Add a little joy die cut. And a little poinsettia. And I think that's it. What do you think? It's so cute. That was so easy to make using the Cracker and Cracker Box Cuttable. Hope you give it a try. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.